With the increased rate of urbanization, governments around the globe are turning to the development of rail system projects in a bid to curtail subsequent traffic congestion and improve connectivity not only within the developing cities but also outside with other cities in and out of their countries. These infrastructure projects, however, coupled with the government's need to offer its citizens the best in terms of comfort, speed, longevity, sustainability, etc., come at huge costs, some of which are surprisingly huge. Let's see what those mega projects are. High Speed 2 HS2 The High Speed 2 is a new high speed railway being developed to connect London, the Midlands, the North and Scotland. The high speed network will link more than 25 stations while serving 30 million people. To be developed in three phases, the project is expected to be completed by 2035. Phase 1, Phase 2A and Phase 2B Parliamentary approval for Phase 1 and Phase 2A has already been given through the High Speed Rail London to West Midlands Act 2017, Phase 1 and the High Speed Rail West Midlands to Crewe Act 2021, Phase 2A. However, there has been some uncertainty over the final phase, Phase 2B of the project, which consists of an eastern leg and a western leg. The government published its Integrated Rail Plan for the North and the Midlands IRP on 18th November 2021. The IRP outlines the government's plans for delivering and sequencing rail investments in both regions, including Phase 2B of HS2, Northern Powerhouse Rail NPR and other regional rail investments. The government has decided not to proceed with its previous plan to build a new high-speed line from Birmingham to Leeds. This eastern leg will now run from the West Midlands to the East Midlands, ending at East Midlands Parkway. However, the government has committed to looking at the best way of bringing HS2 trains to Leeds. Phase 2B, therefore, currently consists of an eastern leg from the West Midlands to East Midlands Parkway and a western leg from Crewe to Manchester. A hybrid bill for the western leg, the high-speed rail Crewe to Manchester bill was introduced to Parliament on 24th January 2022. On 24th April 2022, the House agreed to a motion to suspend proceedings and carry the bill over to the current session. The bill was reintroduced on 11th May 2022. The second reading is scheduled for Monday 20th June 2022. HS2 was originally estimated to cost $72 billion according to the 2015 budget. However, the estimated funding for the project has since almost doubled, with the latest investment escalating to $136 billion. The project is anticipated to cut travel time from Birmingham to London from 1 hour and 21 minutes to 52 minutes, while journey times between Manchester and London, as well as Birmingham and Leeds, would be reduced from 2 hours 7 minutes to 1 hour 7 minutes, and from 2 hours to 49 minutes respectively. California High-Speed Rail The California High-Speed Rail is a publicly funded high-speed rail system under development to connect Northern and Southern California through the Central Valley in the US. The 1,300-kilometer-long high-speed train system is being developed by the California High-Speed Rail Authority at an estimated cost of $80 billion. The groundbreaking ceremony for the California High-Speed Rail project was held in January 2015 and the project is scheduled for completion in 2040. It's the first high-speed train system being developed in the US. The California High-Speed Rail is estimated to carry approximately 40 million riders a year once fully operational. It's expected to offset more than 3,500 tons of harmful pollutants and will remove 400,000 vehicles off the road each year. The California High-Speed Rail project is the largest transportation infrastructure project both in terms of capital investment and geographic area to earn an Envision Award for Sustainable Infrastructure to date. The magnitude of the project presents atypical challenges compared to other complex infrastructure projects including funding and financing, environmental clearances, right-of-way acquisition long, deep tunnels through seismic areas. Implementation of high-speed rail in California will connect the state with a modern, integrated statewide rail system. Establish vital new economic links between California's economic mega-regions, create employment and educational opportunities for Californians, improve air quality and support the state's climate change initiatives, preserve agricultural land, protect the environment and promote sustainable communities, create an opportunity to use the dedicated high-speed rail corridor to achieve broader public benefits. Chuo Shinkansen Maglev Line The Chuo Shinkansen, also known as the Tokaido Shinkansen Bypass, is a new bullet train network being developed by Central Japan Railway Company, JR Central. To be built between Tokyo and Nagoya, the new Maglev-based line is estimated to involve an investment of $84 billion. The new line is anticipated to link Tokyo and Nagoya in 40 minutes while running at a maximum speed of 500 km an hour. 
approximately 90% of the 286km long line will pass through the tunnels. This record-breaking infrastructural work was born of a prototype. Determined to invest in high-speed rail, Japanese national railways began experimenting with maglev technology as early as 1964. After the inauguration of the first Tokaido Shinkansen, an 18.4 km track was created in Yamanashi Prefecture to try out this innovative natural levitation technology which allowed trains to reach speeds of over 500 km per hour. The first section of the line which is being developed under the first phase of the project will extend between Shinagawa and Nagoya. JR Central showcased the design of a fourth-generation maglev train in October 2020. The Shinkansen service is expected to become operational in 2027. Grand Paris Express Grand Paris Express is an automated transit network being developed in the Isle de France region of France. Estimated to involve an investment of $31 billion, Grand Paris Express is one of the largest transport projects currently under development in Europe. The project involves the construction of four new automatic metro lines around Paris and the expansion of two existing lines of the Paris Metro to provide direct connectivity between suburban districts without having to travel through the city centre while also linking important transport hubs in the city. Société the Grand Paris SGP is the overall project owner and contracting authority and the state-owned public transport operator Regi Autonome des Transports Parisien RATP is the operator of the network. The estimated budget for the project is 22.6 billion euros. In September 2013, the Artemis Consortium, formed by engineering firms Artelia, Arcadi and BG, Ingenieurs Conseils signed a 16-year 40 million euro contract with SGP to be the overall project manager and oversee the infrastructure operations for lines 15, 16 and 17. Construction of the new lines began in June 2015 and has been carried out in phases up to 2030. The project is estimated to remove approximately 150,000 cars from Paris roads. The network is projected to have a daily ridership of 2 million passengers by 2026. Up to 20,000 direct jobs are expected to be created each year during the project's implementation phase. The new lines will circle the capital and offer connections with the three airports, business districts and research clusters in the region. The existing metro lines will also be extended as part of the project. It will enable the transportation of 2 million passengers a day once operational. London Crossrail Project Crossrail Limited is delivering the Elizabeth Line, a new fast, high-frequency, high-capacity railway. The route of the new railway stretches from Reading, Maidenhead and Heathrow in the west through central London to Shenfield and Abbey Wood in the east. The Elizabeth Line will connect the outer suburbs to the heart of the city and West End as well as provide a quick route between central London and Heathrow Airport. The construction and fit-out of 10 brand new stations and 42 kilometers of new rail tunnels are drawing to a close. The new railway will then move into its testing and commissioning phase. Europe's biggest construction project was created over 1,000 apprenticeships with 10,000 people employed at the peak of the construction. The Elizabeth Line will provide a 10% increase in central London's rail capacity, relieving congestion on many existing rail and tube lines. It will bring 1.5 million more people across London within a 45-minute commute of the key business districts of the West End, City and Docklands. As well as boosting capacity and improving connections, the Elizabeth Line will cut journey times for the estimated 200 million people who will use it each year. For example, the journey from Heathrow to the West End will take about 30 minutes compared to about 50 minutes today. Riyadh Metro Riyadh Metro is a rapid transit system that has been constructed as part of the Riyadh Public Transport Project RPTP. Estimated to cost $22.5 billion, the project is the biggest public transport project in Saudi Arabia. The project involves the construction of six main lines with a total length of 176 kilometers and 85 stations. The Riyadh Metro network passes through most of the highly populated districts, public administration and academic and commercial establishments. Line 1, the blue line will run from Alaya Street to Al Hayr Road. It will be 38 kilometers long and will include 22 stations and four transfer stations connecting to other metro lines. The red line, or Line 2, will connect King Abdullah Road to the King Fahad Stadium. It will be 25.3 km long and have 13 stations, along with three transfer stations. The longest line of the metro will be the 40.7 km long Line 3, or Orange Line, which will run from Medina al-Munawara to Rahman al-Awal Road. 
Line 4, the 29 km yellow line, will run from the King Khaled International Airport to the new King Abdullah Financial District KAFT and include 8 stations. Line 5, the green line, will be 13 km long and start from King Abdulaziz Road. It will include 11 stations and 2 transfer stations. Line 6, the purple line, will start from King Abdullah Financial District and end at Prince Saad ibn Abdurrahman Al Awal Road. Featuring 6 stations, it will be 21 km long and mostly above ground. Construction of the Riyadh Metro project started in April 2014, while test runs on the Metro began in August 2018. The public transit system is scheduled to become fully operational by the end of 2020. Northern Powerhouse Rail NPR Northern Powerhouse Rail NPR is a new rail network under development in the north of England to enhance the existing rail capacity. The NPR is expected to cost $47 billion, which is touted to be the single largest transport investment in the region after the Industrial Revolution. Transport for the North is responsible for the development of the NPR program. Prime Minister Boris Johnson committed to funding the first stage of NPR, which involved the development of a segment between Leeds and Manchester, directly to the high-speed line currently under construction between London and Birmingham and eventually Manchester. NPR will improve journey times between major economic centres in the north and enable more businesses to access four or more cities or Manchester Airport within 90 minutes once operational by 2040. Mumbai Ahmedabad High Speed Railway Corridor The Mumbai Ahmedabad High Speed Rail Corridor is a high speed rail line being developed by National High Speed Rail Corporation Limited NHSRCL to link India's economic hub Mumbai with Ahmedabad. It's the first high speed rail project under development in India. Estimated to involve an investment of $15 billion, the project receives technical and financial assistance from the government of Japan. The high-speed rail corridor involves the construction of a 508-kilometer-long railway network and 12 stations. NHSRCL opened technical bids for the first two packages of the project in September 2020. Trains on the line will operate at a speed of 320 km per hour on an elevated viaduct 10 to 15 meters above the ground, except in Mumbai, where the line will be built underground using three megatunnel boring machines. Between Mumbai and Thane stations, the line will run under the sea at Thane Creek for roughly 2 km. The line's rolling stock will consist of Shinkansen E5 trains, which are capable of running at a maximum speed of 350 km per hour, with operational speeds of 320 km per hour. The project's foundation stone was led by the Prime Ministers of India and Japan on September 14, 2017, after which construction work commenced for a 4,000 employee high speed rail training institute in Vadodara. The Indian government set a deadline of 15th August 2022, but that will not be met due to the land acquisition issues, primarily in the state of Maharashtra. Suburban Rail Loop The Suburban Rail Loop is designed to improve travel times, reduce traffic congestion and provide ease of access to key venues including the airport, hospitals, shopping centres and the regions. The Suburban Rail Loop is an orbital railway network being developed by the Suburban Rail Loop Authority SLRA. The project will circle Melbourne and link major railway lines through the Melbourne airports. The Suburban Rail Loop project is estimated to involve an investment of 50 billion Australian dollars. Geotechnical investigation works began in July 2019, while construction on the first stage of the 90 km long railway tunnel is expected to start in 2022 for scheduled completion in 2032. A turn up and go train service from Cheltenham to Werribee that connects with the existing radial rail lines and regional services. The wheel on Melbourne's existing hub and spokes, it connects what will be the fastest growing centres of jobs, tertiary education, major hospital and research centres and Melbourne airport. The suburban rail loop will shift an extraordinary number of motorists off our roads. By the time it has been delivered, from Cheltenham to Melbourne Airport, there will be around 600,000 fewer daily car trips as more people choose public transport. To be served by a dedicated fleet of high-tech trains, the suburban rail loop is expected to carry 210,000 people in a day in 2031 and approximately 400,000 in 2051. It will take 200,000 cars off the road to reduce pollution. Klang Valley Mass Rapid Transit Project the Klang Valley Mass Rapid Transit project involves the development of a 150 km mass rapid transit system in Kuala Lumpur. The system will include two northeast southwest radial lines and a circle line looping around the city. 
The $12.2 billion project is listed as an entry point project EPP, under the Economic Transformation Program's Greater Kuala Lumpur Klang Valley National Key Economic Areas. The first phase of the 23 km long MRT Kajang line between Sungai Bulo and Semantan was completed in 2016. The second phase of the MRT system between Semantan and Kajang was completed in 2017. The third and the final line is expected to be operational in 2023. Tyler's three packages include Elevated North Package, extending from Sungai Bulo to Jalan Ipoh. This package is approximately 14 kilometers long and includes 10 elevated stations and one half sunken station. Elevated South Package 1. This package is close to 13 kilometers long, running from South Kuchai Lama to Bukit Serdang UPM and has eight stations, including one provisional station. Elevated South Package 2. Extending close to 15 kilometers, the Serdang to Put Rajaya. This package consists of seven stations, including one provisional station, Kim Design Stage only. Thanks for staying until the end of this video. Share your thoughts or comments in the box below, and see you next time.